have a vision in your head of what it's going to look like and sound like. Sure. If it's not our business, I don't know whose business yeah, it yeah. is. Here. So many different sorts of people get involved. You've got people building the set, you've got people doing costumes, you've got people doing lighting design. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Chesil Theatre. Ireland, 1922. Work! <laughs> yeah, but that's all they want from us, Jack, so work, work, work. It's a very intense play. I mean, the, the, the laughter is intense and the outbreak is very intense. I want them to leave the audience in bits. And Ireland is taking a leaf out of the world's book when we got the making of our own. Hello, everybody. Hello. So uh, for this play I'm actually acting, one of the roles I'm doing is a producer. The whole process really is, uh, I suppose, a bit like, I, I come from an engineering background and it's a bit like running a bit of a project plan. So you're looking for, yeah, there's a, a definite sort of timeline for going through things that we have to follow from the auditions to uh, the reading to the auditions. Today, job, sir, there's going to be issued a proclamation is the stars? What is the star? I think I've, I've suddenly fallen in love with sort of Irish plays that they have this wonderful way of telling some tragic stories whilst adding in a lot of, lot of humour. What is the stars? <laughs> <laughs> What really frustrates me about the world of acting and theatre is that it doesn't matter how good your last show was, you start at the bottom again almost. You ease up there because you're trying to stop them. Mm -hmm. Clara, why the tenement has one with brain? <laughs> Sorry, so you're going to end on reading? Early. Yeah. Right, okay, I don't know when you've just used the script. But you're not seeing that. Oh, no, we're not doing but that. But how's me stuck? Stuck, we're just stuck yeah. in a rut here, guys. I, I love it, the fact that he's an old git in every way, really. He's a selfish bastard who, who um, enjoys uh, people's attention. Uh, I'm not saying that that's... I, I don't know. <laughs> it yeah, yeah. probably is revealing some aspects of my personality. Deep, deeply embed, deeply sort of embedded. But I, I don't know. I just think it's a good, that is fun to play. It really is fun to play. A big character. A big character who... Um, yeah, not yeah. necessarily very likable, but it's very... Well, he's likable and not likable, yeah, I think, same by terms yeah. to the audience, mm. but, it, but it is inside a selfish, mm. a selfish git. I mean, it's easier to... It's not easier to play that kind of part, but it, I think it's fun to play that kind of part. I do, anyway. Oh, isn't this a nice thing to come rolling in on top of me? And it could be fellas all over the district before you could say Jack Robinson. And whenever I'm seen, they whisper, that's the father of Mary Boyle that had the kid with a swank she used to go with. Do you know? Do you know? So, uh, what's it like working with your partner together in the play? Um, it's fine, it's good. Strangely enough, I, I spend less time with you than I do with um, Joxer. Joxer! Joxer, are you there? Yes, yes. Yeah, it might be. Might be what's the problem is with the, uh, with the marriage. <laughs> she knows, she knows the gap is. <laughs> you talk very queer, Jackson. What could he hear? About you not getting the money. In some way or other. And what would prevent me from getting the money? So normally when I act, you know, I'm quite tall and quite expansive, but I'm um, just shrink it all down. Keep my hands in, keep my feet in, shrink down physically, and um, because it's a status thing, you know, I'm smaller in status than than Captain Boyle. With the three pound foy, with Mrs. Madigan's wrist on the blankets and the table for you, and she says you're to be in no hurry paying it back. She won't uh, be long uh, without it. Now I'm expecting the first check for a couple of hundred uh, any day now. Uh, there's the five buck for yourself, Johnny. Go on, take it. Go on. I won't hold me tongue. I won't hold me tongue. I wanted to take part, Johnny, because he was, like I said, so different um, to me. It was just, and it was completely different to anything I've ever done before. Because he's, you know, he's 
like probably like a manic depressive. Nice cup of tea in a minute. Oh Tay Tay Tay, you're always thinking of Tay. A man was dying, you tried to make him swallow a cup of tea. <laughs> and he's obviously got post-traumatic stress. The mother of God! The, 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 the light's gone out! Oh you put the wind on me the way you bowled that time! The mother of God! And it was just something I've never experienced before and it was I re I've normally in plays I've done before I've always been in like a comic role so it's really nice to come into like a role that does have comedy moments and have absolutely none of them and like I think like Cecily says I've got like one line that's funny <laughs> um, and that's it. I just think it's quite fun to be somebody else for a little while. So the best man for a woman is the one with whom she has the most, the one for whom she has the most love. And Charlie had it all. I didn't really think about the fact that I'd have to do an Irish accent until I was at the audition. Ooh. Got to quickly find one. Yeah. And very, very formal in your speech. And I am going to drag it out of your guts if necessary. So it's it's, think it's they're all so doing something that they haven't done before, even in terms of the accent of the type of play they're in. On page have you got that done? Page 34. I'm from Dublin, but <laughs> it's a while since I've lived there. Now, when you work with an Irish play, because you say that your accent has gone a little bit, do you feel like it comes back? Oh, absolutely. Okay? Dirty birds. Dirty, dirty birds. birds. Dirty birds. Let's first, 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 <laughs> first, first, dirty birds. First, cousin. First. Wait till you hear what Mr. Ben has to say first. 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 Say surrender. 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 I've worked with Cecily on a number of occasions and she normally says to me, do you know I could live on that set? But she said I couldn't live on that because it would be much too drafty. Um, <laughs> so bits of it are representational, you know, we've got the um, Ionic um, uh, Greek uh, column, you know, which indicated that it was quite a grand house at one time. It is um, painted in a in a way that makes it distressed, so it looks as if it is deteriorating rapidly. Um, so it's got bits of realism um, isolated in a non-representational way, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Actually, I've got one, one I did earlier. Can I just sit here? Yeah, sure. <laughs> David has also drawn in SketchUp files all of our um, flats. Although it looks deceptively simple because it hasn't got very many set pieces around it. It was quite a long, long build on it because the set pieces, especially the two windows back here, are quite complicated to build. The stove was just um, two of our storage boxes uh, with, a, with a stove front put on and red lights and imitation coal inside. It looks good enough and we, get, we did find some cast iron feet someone was throwing away from someone's bathroom so we managed to pinch those. Simple cupboard. Made, made a game from a table, which we can re-modify later. Um, just show all the bits and pieces. Uh, this is supposed to be a temporary wall the occupants have built themselves to, to wall off a corner of this rather, what was a posh room. This set also uses mouldings, which we've, we, we started using again a few years ago. These again are the mouldings we mentioned. Just plastic mouldings, but they look very effective. Now, any pieces that are made that are worth keeping, I, mean, I can see them to be reused, we'll try and store. Although we're very short of storage space in here. Uh, so we're now on the, on the first floor and this is where the, all the lighting and electrical stuff gets stored um, along with what furniture we can uh, hang on to. And this is like a Pandora's box combined with the TARDIS. There is just, everywhere you look, uh, there is something stored. So here we've got um, old sort of um, light fittings, uh, we've got a big collection of old uh, telephones. Um, about 50, no, about 30 percent of our costumes are at uh, this level. All of our costumes are very carefully catalogued, they're looked after, um, they are washed regularly. Um, we know exactly what we've got, it's all on the computer, um, so we, we know what we've got. You see, so you can be a king for a day. <laughs> <laughs> the 
it's an, an interesting stage we're at where I vary between panic and, and confidence, <laughs> optimism, I should say. Oh, hang on. Could you? Could you? Could you? Could you? Come on, come on. Could you get as far? Could you get as far as here before he says, "Have you got your beads?" So yeah, you've got, yeah. Yeah. So if you <coughs> make him get that far with your gun, okay, yeah. and then have you? Got have you got your beads? Um, they know their lines pretty much. And we don't forget. We don't forget them things, Doctor. Not yet, not, not, not yet. That, that, the very last line. You, that, you heard what he said. It'll be no good. You heard what he said before he went out. Um, now we're at the stage where I'm hoping people are going to build in a little more detail into their characterization. The whole world is in a state of chassis. Um, the more experienced members of the cast find that a little easier because uh, they have the confidence to start to play with the material a little bit more. I'll show them I've a little spirit left in me still. Uh, some of the less experienced ones are just glad to be able to get through, through it without forgetting lines and so on. Come on! Sorry, line. Also, there are a couple of things like the accents are beginning to wander a little bit, uh, but we'll have our tame Dubliner coming in to work on us next week. Your act was actually really quite good. I was just really in, so I keep rolling the oars and the eyes, you're more pronouncing like an O, I like in rice, yeah. which is more yeah. right. Um, just try and make it like oil, oil, yeah, oil, oil, really. oil, um, and the yeah, and, <laughs> and any veil, any, any veil that follows with an R beside it, like like the dirty bird. Um, there are some lovely things beginning to develop that I feel very happy about. It, uh, they're beginning to be able to sort of pick up the pace, and so it sounds more like a normal conversation rather than. Sure uh, waiting just for your cue so you can then say the line you already know, where it begins to sound a bit a bit more like normal speech. Uh, you'll sit down and you'll take your breakfast and let me get to me work from an hour late already waiting for you. Uh, well, you needn't have waited for I take no breakfast. Usually by the end of the run I feel now I can begin to do something with this play. I'm never satisfied. It's, it's, it's a hopeless quest for p perfection uh, and that's never going to happen because you have a vision in your head of what it's going to look like and sound like. Ever tarry, and an English one he is sure to marry. And still she cried, I love him the best. And a troubled mind sure can know no rest. And still she cried, bonny boys are few. And if my love leaves me, what shall I do? <laughs> and, uh, you know, even if I had the resources of the National Theatre, it's still, uh, it doesn't approach the, uh, you know, the interior vision. We have a, a big department, we have an awful lot of props, but they're sort of standard things from TVs, cameras, walking sticks, things like that, so the guns even that are used in this are from our standard stock. Who are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> removing furniture that's not paid for. Um, but there's quite a few things that you find that need to be a bit more bespoke. Um, so I've had a lot of fun making um, a cover for the newspaper, of all things. That's probably the thing that's taken me most work, to make a, a cover for the Irish Times from 1922, which um, took a bit of work of finding old newspapers from that era and then copying them in, editing them, putting the right headers on, and then finding a way to print them and bring them out into the big size of a newspaper. But we got there in the end. Oh, is a bottle of stout or a drop of whiskey? Well now, I think the bottle of stout would be a little too heavy on my stomach after me tea. Like the bottles of beer, we wanted low alcohol stout. Um, I managed to find some, it was Dutch, um, but we needed to lose the label, so the backstage guys did that, but I printed some labels and we stuck those on, so... Uh, so really kind of a gopher really for a lot of the bits and pieces that popped up so things from the sixpences I went and found some coins um, bottle openers all the little 
little bits and pieces that are, are fairly bespoke, I suppose. I even went looking for the teapot at one point around a, a, an antique shop and found that sort of thing. So, uh, for me, it's great fun. I, I enjoy looking for things and particularly ways of being creative to come up with an answer rather than just spending money. It was catching the lights and reflecting into the audience. So there's a, a favourite old trick where they put it. They use Vaseline and just smear Vaseline on and it takes the glare out of it but leaves it still shiny. Um, we can always go out and spend money. We, the, the stove is a case in point. It needed some cast iron legs. We could have bought some for 35 quid. I blagged some off somebody's old bath that they were throwing out and, um, and a piece of wood and I made them for free. Uh, everyone has to die someday. Are you, Juno, today? Me, maybe tomorrow. It's sad, but it can't be helped. Requiescat in pace. Or, uh, using our real tongue, like St. Patrick or St. Bridget. Gesieri Giaera. Oh, da, that's not rest in peace. That's God save Ireland. Ah, it's all the same, isn't it? A prayer. I feel now that we're in the home straight of uh, Juno, that we are um, coming up for just one and a bit weeks away from the first night, that uh, there's a sense of excitement that's keeping me going. There's a visitor coming any minute with Mary, and he has great news for you. Ah, job, I suppose. Ah, let us get one first before we start looking for another. If there was something for you to mess up on on the night, what do you think that would be? Uh, I think it's going to be a mix of either the accents. Oh, not to be quiet. Oh, not to be quiet. He's a nice father, isn't he? Is any wonder Mary went to stray when she's got oh, this as her or my ability to limp, <laughs> which is much more difficult than I thought it was. So I thought it was really easy, and like the specific type of limp for if it's a hip is off the scale, I didn't realise. Um, and my arm. Jump up quickly, quickly. <laughs> but luckily that'd be strapped behind my back, but I'm so scared I'm gonna come on stage with my arm, just like having grown it back. Jesus, I've Cecily and I think Helen, the stage manager, came up with the idea of putting a spoon in my shoe because then it just gives me a limp automatically and I don't have to think about it. <laughs> but then if you like pick it up too much, it's like really difficult because then it starts moving around. What is the moan? What is the moan? We're nearly there. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's the bit that I bet love most of all, just the tweaking the little details, finding out that we have a little bits of business that we've not had time for because we've been struggling for our lines. Tonight's the night! Yep, very, very excited, can't wait. Um, hopefully it will go okay, the other rehearsals have been alright, so fingers crossed we're sold out, so I hope that there's not going to be people that are going to be disappointed. Um, so yeah, just can't wait to sort of get it going and then have the whole rest of the week. Hasn't he come in yet? Oh no, mother. Oh, he'd come in when he likes. Strutting about the town like a peacock with Jackson, I suppose. <laughs> when the cat's away, the moist can play. Pull ah, <laughs> over to the foyer, Jackson. Uh, we'll have a cup of tea <laughs> in a minute. Uh, a cup of tea's a darling thing. A darling thing. And how much will be coming out of it, Mr. Bantam? Well, Mr. Boyle, the executors tell me that half of the property is worth anything between fifteen hundred and two thousand pounds. Oh, 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 I won't be able to get out of this oh. place and go somewhere we're not known. Oh, you won't have to worry about a job for a while now, Jack. <laughs> oh, I never do the goodness of God again. <clears throat> if I ah. were a blackbird, yes. I'd yes. whistle and sing, and I'd follow the vessel of me true love sails in, and on the top of rigging, there I'd build me nest and pillow me head. Lily white breast and lovers are out there. I say, Are you trying to sing a song if you don't know it? Come on, Mrs. Tankard. 
I've not done enough for Ireland. The health, me arm and me hips destroyed since I'll never be able to walk right again. Good God, haven't I done enough for Ireland? Boyle, no man can do enough for Ireland. We've been sent up to the manager of the Hibernian Furnishing Company, oh. Mrs. Boyle, to take back the furniture that was got a while ago. Oh. Have you got your beads? Your beads. Well, why'd you ask me that? Why'd you ask me that? What are you gonna do in a car? Look at me, arm. I lost it for Ireland. Here a tank red lost his life for Ireland. Come on. Oh, sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on me. Let the mother of God be with me now in the agonies of death. Amen. For all of them, it's, it's been a, a challenge. Next time on another project with the same team, you work better. And uh, people often say, well, doesn't, doesn't it make you upset? And I say, well, no, not really. I mean, it could, but it's, it's actually quite nice to say, yes, been there, done that. Clean slate, start again, new production, it's good.